I want to introduce you to a little tool called a bone folder. And if you're not familiar with it, you'll soon understand why you need it. It was traditionally more of a bookbinding tool and something that was really only known amongst bookbinders and book restorers. But now with the swelling of crafts and Martha Stewart and so forth, you can really find a bone folder in most craft stores. Some of them are made out of recycled cow bone, some of them are made out of Teflon, and some are even made out of plastic. A bone folder is gonna do a couple of things. It'll allow you to score your paper, it'll allow you to really crease your folds, and you can even use it to help you rip paper in half. This is cardstock, really heavyweight paper. And if I just fold cardstock without using my bone folder and scoring, I can often get a very cracked and ripple fold. And some papers will be much worse than this. You'll actually get cracking on the edge. This one's somewhere in between. It's pretty ugly, but it's not a terrible crack. That's without my bone folder. Now what a bone folder allows you to do is score and fold really cleanly. So I'm just eyeballing the center of this. I'm gonna run my bone folder just along the ruler to create a score line, and you'll see it in the paper. And you don't wanna fold this way where we've made the score, you actually wanna fold the opposite direction. And you'll see that the fold will just nicely appear right on that line. And then I can take my bone folder and just using the side of it, the long side of it instead of the tip, will just really nicely crease that fold. And we get something that's really clean and really nice compared to this, which is a little bit clunky and you potentially can really crack, especially if you're using a coated paper. Now, something that you might also want to do is tear a sheet of paper in half. And traditionally, you would just fold it and try to tear it, but often you get little divots and you can easily tear it off your center line. So again, I can score. This time I might want to do a couple scores, especially if you're working with a really thick paper. Remember, I fold out. And I can really bone that fold. And this will allow me to make a really nice, clean tear. With a text weight paper, of course, we can make a fold very easily. This is a lighter weight paper. But to get that really crisp fold, especially if you're making something like accordion books or you're working with something that has a lot of folds, it's nice just to use your bone folder to get a really even, clean fold there. You can also use bone folders for pressing out. Let's say you had glued the back of this for bookmaking. You can use it to very carefully get out any air bubbles and you can use it in small details to kind of burnish. You can use this for image transfers and things as well. You'll discover that this is a really handy tool for a lot of purposes, not just for folding and scoring.